Arrow Gaming realize what's happening and because they have to play so defensive. I mean, look at look at the play Arrow is doing right now. They know there's a ward here. They're actually blinking up the side in this slight bit of vision. They actually blinked up into that, and they're going to try and surprise Bone7, which is great. But at the same time, Roshan is going to be the trade. Bone7 is going to be able to orc it up. Mosin, he's actually going to try and go for that kill. Brewmaster commits his ultimate just to be able to save his Earth Shaker and ensure the kill onto Bone7. Whoa, Mosin! No. There goes the first Echo Slam, but it wasn't even necessary. Brewmaster has two different disables to stop that teleport. It was obvious he was waiting. Run. And Bone7 comes in. One teleport already being used. He's going to try and catch out someone. DDZ. He's going to teleport away, and Mosin will also be able to... Oh, no! Scythe of Ice will stop DDZ just in time. Sing Sing gets there. And he's and dead. Of course, the Orchid damage would kill him there. So nice play yeah. by uh, C9 to actually react to this and just come back. So you commit your Brewmaster ulti, and you do kill off c 9 Furion. But Furion is the hero. You kill him off, right back, TB's back. So there goes that hit. defensive disruption. Johnny's going to go down. D gets right clicked. Owie being chased away by Razor, but he's already so low that Bone 7 and Eternal Envy just need to help him out. The black hole is down now. As Aoi is out of the fight, Lance is going to lose his first life with that reincarnation. He's surrounded by all of these heroes, and with the instant damage coming out from Pilot Eye's ultimate, that's going to be enough. Now, Eternal Envy once more. He's going to get the last hero left alive, and that is going to be Mosin. Turns around, tries to get off the Fisher, but Bone 7 will.